So when you're in a circumstance and you're in an opportunity and you feel yourself about to shrink, I want to suggest instead that you ask God, God, if you put me in this circumstance, God, if you allow this situation, then there must be more to me than I think there is. So God, help me to tap into the more. I must have more patience than I thought I had. I must have more wisdom than I thought I had. back to my channel well y'all was already here but anyway so continuing it on my birthday vlog and i got my lashes done shout out to essence i got my top and bottoms i got a filling today because i already have my lashes done so i just got a little filling quick little filling hit my girl up she does walk in wednesday so i went to her super early this morning before i got on the road and I was the second one there. So, super excited about that because I am right on time. I should be getting to Charlotte at 8 o'clock on a dot. I'm lying, like 8.06. But, um, so, I just had my hair, but I, I was rushing out the house. So, I'm going to have to touch my hair up when I get um, to Destiny's house. And then I'm going to do my makeup or whatever. Outfit check on um, my little top from Sheen, my sh my pants from Sheen, and then I have my Bottegas in the back. But right now I got on my little Yeezy um, foam runners or whatever. But I'm doing a little road trip. Y'all hear me listening to my Sarah Jakes? Like y'all, when I tell y'all, so much chaos has been trying to come in my life. This past, this past week, like since May has started, I'm like, I don't know if God is trying to like test me before my birthday to see if I'm like, you know, really about what the fuck I be talking about because I feel like these motherfuckers have been testing me. So... I'm not even going to make this vlog about this, but we're going to come back on this topic or whatever one day. Let me know in the comments below about, like, I don't even know how I want to put this. Like, old friends coming back into your life. Like, old toxic friendships coming back into your life. Like, how do you handle, how do y'all handle that? Or whatever. Because, like, when I tell y'all, motherfuckers are hitting me out from left to right. Now, I can see, like, if you have a friend who, you know, like, y'all don't even fall out. Y'all just, like, take some time apart. You know, you gotta get yourself together. They gotta get themselves together. Like, you focus in on your shit. And then they come back around whenever, you know, they feel confident or whatever. Or when they feel like they've gotten, you know, some things accomplished, blah, blah, blah. Now, those type of friendships, bitch, you can come back to me. And I would be open arms because I know you're trying to get your shit together. However, it's the toxic friendships for me. The ones that were toxic when you left years ago and then they try to come back into your life. And I mean, who am I to judge? But it's just like you don't see any improvement. Like, you're still crazy as fuck. I don't deal with that type of stuff in my life. So it's just like. I don't know. I gotta go deeper into the situation one day with y'all. But I don't, I don't really know. No. We ain't gonna make this about that because it's my birthday vlog, which is. And yeah, but on top of like all the chaos, like. When I've been telling you, like, ex boyfriends, ex boyfriends, girlfriends, like, boys who I don't talk to, haven't associated myself with in like over a year. Why, why, why are you still talking about me to your girlfriend or your baby mama or whoever, whatever your relationship is? Like, why you, why am I still a topic of y'all conversations? But I don't understand. Like, if 
I don't talk to you, why are you talking about me? Y'all, like. Oh my, it's just been so much chaos in, in, in my life. I'm not, I'm not gonna give them the time. I'm not gonna talk about them in my vlog. You know, I already talked about it. I just had to get that out. Because, like, literally for this birthday, I'm just about to be reflecting. I don't feel like I gotta reset. Because I, I've been at a peaceful state lately. Like, the most fucked up shit can happen to me. And I just be, like, still so at peace. So at peace with myself. Like, I still eat fine. I remember, I remember there was times where things used to get me so upset, like I would not eat, like I would be so, like my anxiety just, ooh, used to fuck with me, but child, damn, I forgot my smoothie, matter of fact, but I'd be eating happily, stressed the fuck out, but it's just like, I just know how to handle things differently now, I don't let myself get stressed out. I don't let myself get upset. Like, and if I do get upset, because I'm just saying that I don't get upset. But if I do get upset, oh, okay, cool. I'm going to be upset for that minute. And then I'm going to get myself together. But I'm not going to indulge in the bullshit. Like, that's what the fuck I'm about to do. I'm not about to entertain the bullshit. I'm not about to entertain you bitches. Like, period. That's what the fuck I'm not about to do. I'm not about to entertain you bitches. Like, my friend was like, girl... You need to say this and you need to say that and nothing that. I'm like, girl, I can easily make this bitch cry. But I ain't trying to do that for my birthday, like, you know? I'm, that's just not what I'm trying to have to deal with on my birthday. Because if I make this bitch cry, then I'm supposed to be going on my phone all day, crying on my line, and I don't feel like that. I don't feel like that. But, um... So, you guys, I'm going to tell you about my birthday plans. So, my birthday plans I'm about to go to. I'm going to Charlotte now to go stay with my best friend, Destiny. After I leave Destiny's house tomorrow morning, I have a, um, what do I have? I have a appointment at a Japanese spa. It's called the Shoji Spa. It's in Asheville, North Carolina. I think my package was like $200 altogether. Oh shit, y'all. Not the fucking FedEx cutting the car off. But yeah, so my package was like $200. It came with, I'm scratching my fucking chest of money, y'all. But anyway, the package came with, I think like an hour in the hot tub, a 15 minute massage, and then like a, um, a 15 minute sauna thing like japanese sauna or some shit i don't know but i found this place on tiktok so i'm gonna go check it out for my birthday i'm going alone taking a solo trip because i just don't feel like being bothered with motherfuckers i don't i, I just don't i don't feel like traveling with nobody i don't feel like nobody in my ear nagging i want to do what i want to do when i want to do it how i want to do it if I want to pull out my fucking book and go sit by the waterfall, then that's what I'm going to do. Because I did bring my book. So, yeah, and I don't want nobody nagging in my head. I'm all this is mommy. It's your birthday. I'm going to turn that bitch drunk. I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. Because I don't drink. Now, I'm not saying that I'm not going to drink for my birthday because. I mean. My little drink can't hurt. You know I need a little drink for the aesthetic. And then once I start to feel a little drunk, I'll get mocktails after that. Because y'all, I can I one thing I cannot do is get drunk. Like I can't take no liquor. Liquor is not good for my stomach. Like I ooh, when I tell you when I be getting drunk, not even when I get drunk, when I drink, I get sick for like weeks. And I be out of work, I be out of commission, I be like literally dead can't function so i'm not getting drunk i don't drink anymore it's probably been about 30 days since i've been drunk i sound like a fucking recovered alcoholic but yes i am not drunk anything in a minute so um right now it is currently 6 24 this is how the road looks 
I'm about to finish listening to my Sarah Jakes and I will see y'all later. Hey Nikki. Yeah, oh my god, this is my friend Yami. Yeah, Yami and Kay. I'm ready going to get those. Yes, so we about to put on skirt and shirt. Oh yeah, I think I have kind of something like that. Okay, I'm about to get dressed. So. All right, y'all. So it's fucking ten o'clock. And I'm at Firestone. My fucking tire went flat. My appointment is at 11 o'clock. Two hours away, y'all. I'm so pissed. What the fuck am I gonna do? Oh my god, my phone is dead, so I can't call them and tell them I'm gonna be leaving. These people are telling me they're gonna take like an hour, like. Oh, yeah. Yeah. As you can see, I am in the sauna. The sauna was not actually included in my package. However, my um, cabin wasn't ready, so they were like, I could just go hang out in the sauna until the cabin was ready, so this is what I'm doing. And then, of course, you know, I had to set up my little phone for my TikToks or whatever, but this was very relaxing. I just laid in here. It was super hot or whatever, but I definitely enjoyed the vibes. Um, and I'm going to read each room from, like, 1 to 10 and I feel like this was probably like a 6 out of 10 only because I really didn't know what else to do besides just lay there Alright y'all so this was actually probably my most favorite part of the um, spa This was an hour um, and then every 15 minutes you're supposed to take a little break because you do start to get busy or whatever But this definitely like helped me snap back This plus the hot tea definitely helped me snap back from that little mini hangover I have from that one freaking margarita but yeah so um I'm just in the little hot tub or whatever they got some hot stones over there that I was just touching and then they have um, some hot tea or whatever there's some crackers that you can snack on this was really relaxing it was outside like literally on top of the mountain I would definitely recommend you coming here if you want to go um you know like a solo trip or a trip with like your boyfriend girlfriends nice Whatever. Oh my gosh, young. All right. So as y'all can see, I am finally here. some nice little hot tea. Mm. Period. This is so relaxing, y'all. When I tell you, like, I just, I can't be more at peace. Like, I cannot be any more at peace than what I am right now. Like, this, when I tell you, I'm so relaxed. Like, took a little break off the phone, off social media, and just, I'm laying on this little bench. Because, you starting to make me a little dizzy. I was getting a little hot. But, yeah, y'all, like, I'm just literally laying out, relaxing. I feel like so much bad shit happened to me today, like, that's why I'm 
my mouth is ashy as fuck. Like, I threw up four times this morning on the way here. Threw up this morning at Destiny House. Three times on the road on the way here. So I, I didn't like sweat out my little wig. My little lace is not melted anymore. It's just lifting. There you go. But when I tell you I don't even care how I look today, I don't even care how I look today. Like, as long as I'm comfortable, that's all I want. I just want to be comfortable in your case. So right now, I am in my little cabin. Yeah, I'm in my little cabin. I'm literally like in the woods on a mountain. Like I had to go up this little trail to go up the mountain. I got lost, child. And then I was scared as fuck because I was about to back up. And I was like, bitch, you can't back up on the fucking mountain. Girl, you might fall down this fucking mountain. So I had to drive all the way around the mountain. I go all the way around. But it's been a pretty good experience. I must say, like I did get some terrible, terrible, terrible news last night um about one of my clients and i was you know, i was like crying this morning like i'm about to stop right now again because <laughs> i don't know y'all i'm emotional but Sorry, y'all, but I'm just like I'm just emotional. I'm happy to be here. Happy to be alive. Happy. I wouldn't rather. I would not. What the hell? I would not rather be doing anything else on my birthday right now than just relaxing and spending it alone. I don't want nobody bothering me. I don't want nobody trailing behind me. I don't want nobody offering me any opinions. I just want to be at peace. <sighs> All right, y'all. So now we are in the massage chair. I really did not like the massage chair. It was really pointless. And because I'm extra, extra skinny, it wasn't even really getting everything i would not recommend it's literally like a massage chair at a nail salon but like point two <laughs> all right y'all so now we are leaving this was my cabin cabin number three i'm going over this little hike Pretty out here. Oh gosh, it's just out of breath. Oh. Oh, shit. So for the last part of the whole um, little activity or whatever, this was the, I forgot what it's called, but it's like the bed sauna. It's like a vibrating bed and it's a heated bed. The like sheets are heated. The mattress is like oh, heated. Maybe. It's like, I don't know, it's like a heated vibrating bed. So you literally just like lay down and you like meditate or whatever. They actually need earplugs, but I really didn't want any earplugs because I didn't know what the hell was going on around me. So, so um yeah he's gonna come in here and explain all the details or whatever cut the lights off and then i'm just gonna lay in the bed for about an hour i literally fell asleep in the bed and i think he let me sleep in here for like a couple of extra 30 minutes because my timer went off 
in an hour, and he still didn't come back and check with me, so I just laid in bed and went back to sleep. But this was super comfortable. I would definitely do it again. Um, probably take my best friend with me just so she can experience it too or whatever. But yeah, I definitely love this. This was really nice, very comfortable, like to, and I'm very glad that I did this on my birthday. Mm -mm, it's fine. shirt and i think i put the shirt i put the shirt on so because don't be like oh she had the same thing one two days in a row because i have one different i have one jeans but i just threw this shirt on because i had this top on and i had one another little green top but the green top was too big and it kept sliding down and like i don't i'm trying to turn walk around because i had this tied up but i'm in the car right now but anyway i'm rambling i'm traveling because i'm sitting at y'all i am at what the fuck i don't know what this car was sacker mart Somewhere in South Carolina, I don't even know where I'm at. I'm in the country. My phone went in. I had to get some gas, so I am sitting here waiting on my phone to cut on, so I can get back on the road. I probably I think I got like two hours. And as you can see, it's dark out here, or whatever. But um, yeah, I'm just waiting on my phone to cut back on. As you can see, I still got these things on my head when I was sleeping. I forgot. I fell asleep at that thing, and I didn't want to make it. It woke me up. I just got up and walked out of there. I forgot I had this on my head. That's like on camera just now. But anyway, so I'm on the way home. Today was very peaceful. Very, 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 very emotional. But I don't regret anything that I did today. I had a good time. I'm glad that I went by myself. I'm glad that I enjoyed my trip. I'm just ready to get home to my dog because what I didn't show y'all because I'm sure y'all didn't want to see this but y'all I threw up I think I told y'all this already but I threw up like three times earlier so I got me a little Jersey Mike sub that I'm trying to eat which I have been able to keep down since I left the spa so I feel like that got me right I was drinking some tea I was in a little hot tub you know I'm that good I still need to take it easy. But um, yeah, I'm just sitting here. Oh, I'm on camera while I'm at this gas station because it's like people pulling up and shit. And yeah, I know y'all see me on camera. I got y'all on camera, so don't come back. It's caught. But um, my phone needs to hurry the fuck up. I've been sitting here for about 20 minutes now. Like, what the fuck? Service or new construction. 